What's going on everybody? So today I wanna to talk about a massive mistake you could be making after you reach Trailblaze level 40. I just reached this not too long ago. If you are free to play and you've been trying to be relatively efficient with your Stellar Jades, then you're probably reaching Trailblaze level 40 around the time this video comes out, or potentially you might've already done it a little bit sooner or a little bit after. But these are a few things to consider once you reach level 40 to make sure that you're not absolutely just stalling out your progression on a few different characters. So once you reach Trailblaze level 40, you unlock Equilibrium level three. This is very, very important because the Equilibrium levels basically determine how difficult content, or rather what difficulty of content that you can do, as well as certain Ascension levels, etc which is super, super important for the purposes of using your Trailblaze energy, um, farming certain gear pieces like relics and ornaments, uh, ascending your characters, and obviously how much value you can get in general throughout the game. And one critical thing to keep in mind is to niche down. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to prioritize where we're using our Trailblaze energy. So one thing I wanna consider before I even dive into this topic, there is one form of endgame that we should be preparing for, and that is the Memory of Chaos located uh, at the Forgotten Hall. For those of you that do not know, the Memory of Chaos is essentially the end game content of this game, which I actually have not unlocked yet because I have not bothered pushing through this past like just pure auto a while ago because I was obviously reaching equilibrium level three, but now I'm going to be pushing this. And after you beat the Forgotten Hall, you're going to unlock the Memory of Chaos, which is extremely difficult boss fights with really, really tough requirements because you actually need two separate teams of four and they usually require a specific element. With that knowledge in mind, that is what we should be preparing for and a crucial thing to consider is to first start off with using a core team of four to five characters. Now, I know I just said, oh, we're going to need eight characters, two separate teams for the Memory of Chaos. But in order to get there, we want to squeeze out every ounce of power we can get from this game. And so separating, making sure you have a core team of four, potentially five with all separate different elements, because you absolutely need to take advantage of the weakness break in this game, you really want to heavily prioritize their traces as well as their ascension materials because it's ex very, very expensive to level up all of these different characters. And not only that, but also uh, leveling them up, ascending your light cones, ascending the characters, developing the traces, all these things are starting to get very, very expensive. So by prioritizing a core group of four, you ideally will be able to push further into simulated universe and into later stages of various different farming methods. Now, if you've already been able to do that and you're able to fi form five star relics, that is where the majority of your energy should go after you've developed your core team of the traces that you need, okay? because we really need to start getting some form of relics involved in our characters that are actually going to perform for the characters that we need to in the Memory of Chaos. If you've gone ahead and you actually can get that core team of four or five to the point where you can beat basically everything besides the Memory of Chaos, that is when you start transitioning into your full team of eight, two teams of four, ideally with multiple supports and a couple of DPS. That is the key. If you have double healer with buy loot, even better. So I wanna mention a couple of characters that are almost guaranteed to be used in general throughout the game. The first one's going to be Natasha. You will not regret investing into any of these characters that I'm gonna mention because almost any of the end game comps that I've seen are using them and I've had extremely great experiences with them so far. So Natasha is gonna be the first one. Fire Trailblazer is going to be the second one. These two are guaranteed. 
March 7th is going to be the third one and is one that I'm going to be working on very shortly. These three are going to be extremely, extremely critical in the future of your Memory of Chaos teams. Because again, you're going to need that team of eight. And you might have noticed that I mentioned three defensive support characters. That is because defensive supports are the way to go in any gotcha game until you've got the stats to just speed run it. We do not have those stats. Therefore, you need to focus on defensive supports. A couple of characters that I personally will be working on just because I have them to give you guys some idea. Gepard, another defensive shielder. Sila, obviously a lot of people who have Sila are going to be investing into her. She is an excellent DPS. After that is where it gets a little bit shaky. My consideration comes down to potentially Sampo, potentially Don Hung. Uh, Hook over here is actually a really, really solid one. Very, very strong, destructive, uh, destruction fire type character. And after that, I'm actually not quite sure who my seventh or eighth person might be. I do have Pila, and I'm very, very much leaning towards her uh, because I do have her very much upgraded. So I think that's probably going to be my eighth uh, of the total eight characters. Okay. And this is very, very important to start planning ahead. Again, first on your core team of four to five and then to your team of eight, because realistically, if you start branching out past, well, past eight, it starts to consume all of your energy to where you really are kind of just waiting on the game. Because there's only so much farming you can do per day due to the high lock of the Trailblaze energy. And as I mentioned, one of the highest priorities should be to be farming five-star ornaments and five-star relics. Now, keep in mind, at the same time, when you've actually gone ahead and unlocked Trailblaze level 40, as I mentioned, you're actually going to unlock the ability to synthesize relics of your choosing eventually when we get some more resin. But you can see here, we can actually pick which set and we can actually develop our material salvaging or materials from salvaging other relics. So this is 100% the massive priority that should be done is to focus on your team and then start farming those relics because you're going to need them when you start entering the memory of chaos. Once I unlock it, which should be in, well, by tonight or by tomorrow, when I actually have some time to grind out the Forgotten Hall, I'll give you guys a full guide on some things that I've learned from it to help you all in your process when you start reaching that point, because it is a bi-weekly reset, which means if you don't do it, then you lose out on those resources forever. So the faster you can get to it and the faster you can beat a first couple of stages, the more value you'll get. And especially for your free-to-play players who might not be buying the battle pass, you're going to be getting XP, light cone XP, which is super, super critical because for those of you, us that are light spenders or potentially, you know, wailing out, we don't actually necessarily have all those bottlenecks that free-to-play players do. And so this is a very, very critical moment for a lot of you players out there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully this helps. Again, a lot of people don't even realize what the end game content is. And so I figured this would help a lot of people who might be just randomly investing as soon as you reach Trailblaze level 40, because it unlocks a lot of things. And before in the game, you can upgrade anyone, have no issues realistically, and you don't even run out of resources. But once you hit Trailblaze level 40, the game changes quite drastically, and you absolutely want to focus very, very heavily, at least at the maximum on eight different characters. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all for the next one.